everyone, it's Kate from The Forge Line. I am back this week with The Sew Down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read, listened to, stuff to go and see um, in and around the world of sewing that we thought you guys might find interesting. So I'm going to get cracking. The first thing I talk to you guys about usually is a couple of indie designers that you may not have heard of. Um, the first one I've got is PH7 Patterns. So they are a relatively new pattern designer. They were launched in March of this year. Their USP, which I love, is that they're sort of gender neutral patterns. They've got three of them at the moment and they're really nice. If you, um, if it was a high street shop, I'd say COS. If you like that sort of quite simple, um, slightly utilitarian, utilitarian type of clothing, this is, you're gonna love this brand. So they've got three pads at the moment. They've got a jacket, a shirt, and a pair of trousers. They are really great. Um, I think you guys will really like them. And um, sizing wise, they are size UK six to 26. And they're just really beautiful, so um, they're definitely worth having a look at. Um, I think there's going to be amazing, loads and loads of more amazing patterns from them, so do go and have a look at their patterns. Um, the next designer I've got is um, Grey Fires and Grace. They are um, they're a really interesting pattern company, so the heart of their sort of, um, I guess, brand ethos is that is sustainability. So their patterns are designed with that in mind. So if I show you, I've spoken about this, anyone who saw my new sewing pattern releases, the shirt to stock bridge top, for example, um, is, is that the whole design is based around using an old shirt to recreate into a new shirt. So all the pattern pieces have taken into account that you'd be able to fit them onto an old piece of shirt. You use some of the bits of a shirt that are already there. So like the placard at the front. Um, it's a really interesting idea. I love the idea, especially if you're in the beginner camp or you're interested in upcycling. It's a really good way to kind of get you into it, but in a way that's using a pattern so you know you're going to end up with something that fits quite well. So they've got three women's wear patterns and they've got quite, I think about six um, kids patterns. They're really interesting. They're definitely worth going and having a look. And I think there's gonna be some really interesting stuff from them as well. So go and have a look. Um, a couple of things that I have been reading. Um, the first one, um, I think a lot of people, I recommended a book called The Salt Path, um, which was written by, um, Raina Wynn, sorry, I, I had it on the tip of my tongue and it's gone. Um, she, it's a true story, it's a memoir. If you haven't read it, it's totally wonderful. And um, this is an article on the Penguin um, website about where, what happened next and what happened to them. So anyone who's interested, um, it's definitely worth going and having a read. And if you've read The Salt Path, um, I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you haven't read The Salt Path, go and read it because it's absolutely totally wonderful. Um, another little article that we found that we thought was quite interesting was in The Guardian. Um, the title of it is, is Shops Are Open Again But Where Did The High Street Fashion Become So Drab? I don't know if any of you guys have noticed because I have been thinking this myself. Going into shops again, if you started going out and about a bit more, the clothes offerings for summer are so boring and this is an article about that and I can, I can understand as a business as they've, you know, everyone's had to kind of really think about what they're going to release but I thought it was a really interesting so definitely worth going and having a read of. Um, another one, another article that we've got, um, now I'm going to start by saying I'm, I don't know how to pronounce this girl's name and I'm almost, I'm actually not going to do it because I just know I'm going to get it so wrong. Um, but it's a beautiful photography exhibition where the models are camouflaged to the background and they're using African wax prints and it's really beautiful. Um, she's got an exhibition in Paris if you're in France um, or in Paris. Um, it's definitely worth going and have a look at but the photography is absolutely amazing, really vibrant, amazing prints. Um, if you need to bring a little bit of colour into your life this is definitely worth going and having a look at. Stuff to go and do. If you are based 
anywhere near <laughs> Nottingham Castle. Um, the museum there has got an exhibition on Paul Smith which we thought looked really interesting um, and how he takes on design and it, to be honest I just know this will be fantastic anything that Paul Smith does will be really interesting and kind of eccentric and rather wonderful and he was I think I'm pretty sure he went and studied at Nottingham University um, fashion design or well, he's from Nottingham I'm sure there's a li there's definitely a link there but um yeah I think this will be wonderful if you live near there or you're planning you want to plan something nice to do so TV I actually haven't got anything for you this month I'm afraid guys I feel a bit um I could let the side down. I haven't really watched anything that I thought was really wonderful and worth sharing. So if you've seen anything that's fantastic, please share below because it's nice to kind of share the love. I've got four podcasts for you. Um, so we've got some good stuff to listen to. So first one is Comfort Eating with Grace Dent. This is um, in a collaboration with The Guardian. Um, she interviews famous people about their comfort food um, I love, she's a restaurant critic if you haven't come across her, so she eats out a lot, she writes, I love her reviews and um, they're kind of really wonderful. She's quite kind of eccentric British and it just works really well. So there are um, just a couple of episodes so far but they're definitely worth having a listen to. Um, each one's about 40 minutes so they're just a nice kind of chunk of time. Um, the second one I've got, um, I know this is a little bit outdated but I've only just heard it and I just wanted to draw your attention to it if you haven't heard it yet. It's the Love to Sew podcast which I'm sure a lot of you already listen to. If you don't it's a sewing based podcast that is run by Helen and Caroline and Helen of Helen's Closet Pattern Designs and a Caroline of Blackbird Fabrics and it's wonderful. They've done an episode on trouser sewing and fitting I listen to it and it's there's, it's stuffed full of good stuff so I know that that's something that a lot of people have problems with in terms of fitting um, so this is definitely worth checking out I really would recommend it it's really fantastic um, I actually learned quite a lot from listening to it and if you haven't heard their podcast before just go and treat yourself because there's millions of great episodes and you can kind of sit back and enjoy all things in and around the world of sewing so the final two are um, produced by the same person. They're part of, it's, it's a collaboration with ITV. They're both um, murdery ones. So if you like th that feel, these are for you. So the first one that I've got is called Catching Melanie's Killer. Um, this was a girl who was killed in the 1980s. It was a cold case and it's all about the team that um, kind of didn't let the case die and because it was in the 80s and um, DNA testing came in in the 90s it's the whole kind of and they talk to her Melanie's mother and the family it's really well produced but I think because it's part of ITV so it's obviously had some kind of decent money behind it but it's really it's very well done so if if you like kind of true crime this is a good one they've also done another um kind of series which I loved as well so I listened to the Melanie one and then went on to this one so if you like that this one will also be good. This one is called No Strings Attached it's also in true crime it's an attempted murder of I'm sure because I actually remember hearing about this in the news of a woman who survived um, jumping out of a plane with a parachute and the parachutes didn't work and it then becomes clear that her lines of parachute has been tampered with and who the person is um, and she survives which is incredible so it's a really interesting um, kind of series each one's about seven or eight episodes and they're about half an hour each so really nice if you've got a long car journey or something this is lovely to listen to so I hope that was helpful and you've got some nice stuff to listen to um, we will be back soon with another video and as I said if you've watched anything really good Pop it down below so we know about it. All right, have a lovely weekend. Bye.